The Karyatid Hairstyling Project began as an idea to test the possibility of replicating these ancient hairstyles. I began to formulate an idea, first with an experiment on my own hair uh, by Melexi Torres, and uh, then I decided it would be much more exciting and much more interesting to have students as part of this project. And so then it was a matter of finding students who would be willing to have their hair styled in this way. This was a great opportunity for me to um, relate an everyday activity, especially in my own life, to my studies. I was really excited about the whole process. I spoke with the other girls and they were all nervous too. They said, how is she going to do this? You know, we all have difficult curly hair. My hair, when I was younger, I, it was an object of being teased. I used to be teased for my hair sometimes for it being so curly and now I had this chance to, um, it was interesting that I was chosen for that. If they had the curls already, their hair was massive and curly, you didn't have to do much. And just recreating this, um, the whole statue and the way they placed them outside, I just wanted to recreate these divas. It, it was just a different experience for me. It was really fun. When I first was invited to partake in the project, um, I was really excited because it, this topic that I've just been interested in for the past couple of years, it felt um, kind of motivating to be included in it and sort of, it definitely encouraged me to pursue my own questions and look for answers. Karyatid Hairstyling Project gives our current students, and I hope our future students, a way to connect into an ancient culture that we cannot communicate very readily uh, through pictures in a book, for example. The DVD brings everything to life.